back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams and we're back with another one of our 24-7 news report videos. As always, we start with the headline news and the headline news this evening is that um, Adrian Rabiot is keen to leave Juventus. Everton are interested and would be willing to swap Andre Gomez for the French midfielder. This has come via Juve Dipendenza. Dipendenza. Um, yeah, um, swap one Andre Gomez for another. Uh, why not? It seems like a good plan. Uh, no, in all seriousness, I don't watch an awful lot of, um, of Juventus' games. But for me, Rabio is one that we've been linked with for so long now. We was linked. We were linked with him last season. We were linked with him the summer before that, the Angelotti, where Angelotti was here. Um, he just seems to be a player that Everton can't quite shake the um, the connections, the links with. Um, I, I don't think it, that type of player is what we need. He's going to expect a, a, a fair whack. I don't think he's playing currently on pennies at Juventus. Um, he's going to expect a fair whack. I don't think he's the mid... Again, once again, it is a midfield that I don't think we really need, that we're looking at. Um, yeah, I I personally would swerve this. Um, I don't know what what you guys think. You might you might watch more of him than me, and you might be like, mm, I think you got this one wrong, Chief. It's a good player. Um, but yeah, for me, not that type of player that we needed. Good to see that Andre Gomez is clearly being touted out, though. The club were rumoured to be doing that anyway. Um, but this sort of high, you know highlights that that he is one of the players that the board Lampard Felwell uh the powers that be etc see as surplus to requirements uh a sort of feeling that I think a lot of fans have um have echoed for quite a while so yeah watch watch this space I genuinely can see Andre Gomez going this summer watch this space on that one and um, somebody will somebody will take him up um, we next have that Jordan Pickford is expected to sign a new deal with Everton and is eager on staying on the club. That's come from the Telegraph. Fantastic news this. Him and Richarlison are the two, I think, that we need to thank for not being down in the championship now. Um, they're the reason we're not travelling to Preston on a Tuesday. Uh, his, two, his double saving into Chelsea, but that whole Chelsea game was phenomenal. Man of the match for me, even with Richarlison and the flair, Pickford beats him to it for man of the match. I think he was possibly either him or Richarlison I picked for my player of the season in the Toffee Blues end of season awards, which if you haven't watched, Terry and James went through it. You can watch that if you go back on the channel. It's well worth a watch. Myself and all the contributors on the channel um, did, a, did a vote. Um, and I think it was either Pickford or Richarlison, but I think in the end I picked Jordan Pickford uh, as my player of the season. Um, and he looks like he's going to get a deal to deserve that. There were also rumours that he was going to go away. Tottenham were looking at him as the, the next heir for uh, Lloris. Um, this would almost definitely confirm that he's staying, get him done. It means the club will make money on him as well. Um, and he, do you know what? He really does deserve it. Um, he had such a rough time at Everton uh, when he first started out. And he did make mistakes. He wasn't, you know, I'm not saying that like he was innocent and all, but he was making mistakes. Uh, but we all make mistakes. And as he's grown as a as a player, as a person, he's matured. He's come off a fantastic Euros, didn't he? Like he did his very best to sort of give England the a, a, a first major competition win since the World Cup. Um, he very much did his best. I don't think England fans actually appreciate what he did, as they're always seeming to put Ram want him to be replaced by Ramsdale or some other flavour of the month, but. Alas, that is, I guess, England fans. Um, but he personally did nothing wrong. Saved the penalty from Jorginho, who very rarely misses them. Um, yeah, really deserves a deal. Really did keep us up this season. Nice that our fans appreciate him as well. I see a lot of our fans back for him. When you hear the England number one debate, a lot of our fans um, going back for him, which is fantastic to see. Uh, next, we have the news that Everton have been handed an Armando Brogia blow. Um, according to recent reports, 
Uh, the 20-year-old is looking to depart Stamford Bridge this summer if he isn't part of two calls pre-season plans, alerting West Ham, Newcastle and um, Everton. Yeah, he didn't go with the Chelsea squad, so he's like, right, I want to leave then. Um, pretty clear sign that you're not going to get used, isn't it? Uh, however, TalkSport are now claiming Chelsea could use Napoli's interest in the player to strike a deal for Nigerian international Victor Ossiman, um, who's a fantastic player, by the way. Um, and Lil did really well to make the money they made on him. Um, really, really well. A Lil are very clever like that. Him, Pepe. It was Pepe, then him. Um, and when Jonathan David has his breakout season, they'll cash in on him as well. They're very good at finding good strikers. Um, but yeah, we're not here to talk about Lille uh, or Campos's wonders there. Um, Broja could be going to Italy. For the money that I've seen being touted, uh, he still has question marks for me very much. I said this a couple of weeks ago, his goal scoring record isn't brilliant. He is young and it can improve. Um, but he had an OK start to the season, then dropped off a little bit. Uh, but then the whole squad of Southampton dropped off a little bit, didn't they? Um, I don't think he's like a... I think 30 million for him was going to be a bit, uh, a bit, you know. Um, and if Napoli agreed to that swap, I think they get the worst part of that deal. Uh, Ossiman is a very good striker. His pace is fantastic. He's tall, though, as well. Um, but, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. I'm sure the club have other... Um, like you know, others lined up. We've seen that Smacka, Smacka uh, is lined up. We've seen that um, Dennis. Although I think the club will still go for their own striker. Belotti's been linked. I'd love Belotti, but I don't think he's going to go to us. I think he's going to go uh, either the MLS or he's going to go to another European club um, not outside of English of the English division, uh, the English uh, outside of England, basically. Um, but yeah. It should be very interesting um, to see what happens there. We also have uh, the reports that Mafias Nunes has rejected a move to Goodison Park as he's holding out for a top Premier League club. Portuguese outlet Ojogo, I'm going to pronounce that as, suggests that Sporting are open to offers for the midfield. There is they're willing to cash in. Um, despite widespread reports of interest, he's so far rejected Everton, Newcastle and Wolves. Chelsea and Liverpool are linked with the player, although Thomas Tuchel's side... Uh, hold the most interest with reports they're preparing a bid. So, yeah, he doesn't want to come to us. He wants his big money move. We could have got him last season and we messed around um, with the manager not coming in and didn't want him, messed around. If we'd got him last season, like the director of football at the time said to, this would have been a different story or it had been us cashing in. Uh, the, the management at Everton this season, it seems like all their all their hands are coming home to roost, aren't they? Um, this is once again just another mistake that's coming back to bite Fahad Mashiri. Not as much as us nearly getting relegated or the FFP strangulation, but another one again. We were going to end up paying over what we were last season, and now he's turned around and said, Actually, I don't want to come to use at all. I think I'm good enough to play for Chelsea. So, alas, Nunes is a no go. Um, Everton are, though, among a number of clubs interested in Club Bruges star Charles de Ketelaer, according to reports. A 21-year-old has been linked with a number of English clubs, as well as uh, Serie A giants AC Milan. Now, Gazzetta della Sport claim the Italian outfits face a race against time to get the deal over the line, with the likes of Everton, Leeds, um, Southampton and Leicester all circling him. Um, be interesting, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of players there. Um, there's a lot of teams, sorry, there that are sort of eyeing the prize. I mean, we out of the Premier League ones, I think we're one of the stronger ones. But it's it's that AC Milan link, isn't it? That could really, really come back to bite us because um, I think he picks AC Milan pretty much. Well, he, he just picks AC Milan, doesn't he? Really, um, straight away. So. Yeah, we'd have to offer him something special. We'd have to offer him something special. I think Leeds are rumoured to be going to put their bid in. It's about 32 million. So we'd have to put something special in for him. But he is a good midfielder and very creative as well. So we'll have to wait and see on this one, guys. I, I He can score from midfield as well. Um, he is meant to be a really, really hot talent. And I think if Leeds can get him, we can get him. I think if 
Premier League clubs rumoured are in for a chance than we are. It is just um, a land that's the big problem for us. Um, but alas, we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, it's all paper talk, isn't it? Um, next, we have some news about an actual Everton player. Uh, it's Everton could offer Dominic Calvert-Lewin a new contract this summer if reports are anything to go by. The Mirror reported earlier this week that the Blues are looking to fight, uh, fight off interest for rivals in Anthony Gordon and Dominic Calvert-Lewin by trying to get them new deals. At England International previously signed a new contract in 2020 and his current deal runs out in 2025. Um, however, there has been subject of interest from Newcastle. Uh, the article adds that Everton look to retain him and Anthony Gordon following the sale of Richarlison unless they have a crazy offer they cannot refuse. Um, I mean, crazy offer that you cannot refuse. Newcastle definitely have the money to offer a crazy deal that we cannot refuse. Um, but it, I think Lampard's told Dominic Calvert-Lewin, if I remember the report saying that he wants to build a squad around him. Gordon, what though you'll see is a likewise talent to build a squad around. So it makes sense. It's essentially Pickford's been rewarded for his, for his good form, but he's also, it's to fiend off anyone else that wants him. Um, I'd be happy with Dominic Calvert-Lewin getting a new contract, as I would with Gordon. Um and, and the, at least Everton are fully open to the fact that if it is a silly, silly offer, we'll accept it because it's a silly offer and you'd be silly to turn down silly offers. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the, if they don't go. Um, we also have the news that EFC under 21, so Everton under 21's defender Joe Anderson, not the former mayor of Liverpool, uh, has signed a two-year extension deal with the Blues. Um, this is great to see. There's been a couple, hasn't there? Eli Campbell recently signed a new contract as well. It's great to see this from the academy, hopefully with Felwell going in, sorting it all out, ripping it all out and bringing in new people. I read a theory from somebody on Twitter, I think it was like Evertonian Jamie, but I've been um, saying that Felwell is more a director of football who's focusing on the structure of the club and the academy more than transfers. I think he still has an, a, a, has an opinion in transfers, obviously, along with Lampard, Mishiri, the board, and Kia Shubishan probably. But, um, it was more specifically the, the academy side. And I think we're seeing that in the fact that he's changing personality, really wants this academy done. And we're offering players extensions, which is great to see because realistically now um, we hope that these players get a little bit longer. They move. They need to, there needs to be a better sort of path from the under 21s to the um, first team. We're not seeing enough of these high rated youngsters come through. There's reports that Ellis Sims might be leaving this club this summer. Um, there's another one that should, you know, could have, should have been something, but isn't. Uh, we don't want the same to happen to Lewis Dobbin, obviously, um, and obviously, and maybe Joe Anderson if he has that potential. So we do need to see more of a clear pathway and help these players achieve the potential touted to them. Uh, and finally, Everton remain in talks with Dynamo Kiev about the pre-season friendly at Goodison Park. A prelim preliminary date of Friday the 29th of July is scheduled and Everton are hoping details can be finalised in the next coming days. That came by the Liverpool Echo. Um, this is a great um, gesture. Um, it'd be great for the Dynamo Kiev team, Dynamo Kiev fans that could, could potentially come over or the ones that might already be living here um, that have had to flee their country. That'd be absolutely brilliant for them. I'm sure Everton fans, I know Everton and Everton fans will welcome them with open arms, um, as we have with Mikalenko. Um, it would be a, uh, it'd be a lovely um, day, a lovely sort of event, uh, and it will mean the world to Mikalenko, uh, having his, you know people from his home country, uh, fellow countrymen coming over, and women and children and just having that sort of occasion for him. We saw him when there was the We Stand With Ukraine at Goodison Park. We saw how much it meant to him then. Um, and he has opened up about how tough it has been in England. You know, the language was always going to be a tough barrier for him and how Seamus Coleman had reached out to him, um, which fair play to Seamus Coleman for doing that. It's a fantastic way to lead as a captain um, and just shows that he, he is a lovely human being. Um, so it mean the world for Mikalenko, that sort of thing. And it mean it'd just be a really nice day. Um, you know, it's a friendly, there's no fierce competitive rivalry in it. There's no there are 
You know, they're not a team in England. There's no tribalism towards it. Um, hopefully, it's just a nice affair because um, that's what it's put out there to be. Um, yeah, that gets a thumbs up for me. I hope that can go ahead on the preliminary date given. Um, I think it'll be really nice. Uh, but that is all we've got time for. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the com uh, channel if you're not already. Comment down below your thoughts on anything I've discussed. Um, are, you, are you a bit gutted about Brozier? Are you happy that Pickford's getting his new contract? What do you think about Dominic Carver-Lewin? Do you think he should get a new contract? Um, uh, what do you think about the club's sort of ideas on that? Don't forget Adrian Rabio and Andre Gomez. I, I'm pretty sure most of you are going to say you would swap Gomez. Would you take Adrian Rabio is probably the more appropriate question to ask. Um, let me know all that in the comments down below and I'll see you guys very soon.